there are new tools for building agents from OpenAI. This is the latest update. Newly introduced Responses API that is going to replace Chat Completions API. Probably millions of applications using Chat Completion and that has been replaced with Responses API to superpower the agentic behavior, loads of tools and features such as web search, file search, computer use directly via API. And the Swarm agents from OpenAI is replaced with Agents SDK and they are introducing observability tools. And clearly these Agents SDK is more popular and there's more possibility that this could beat Graphrag and other agentic framework. And we are going to explore that further and find out. I'm going to take you through all these new features by directly running you those code such as web search, the new response API, the rag within response API, AI agent, that is swarm agent and much more. Let's get started. First, these are the updates from OpenAI, response API, built-in tools, agents SDK and observability tools. First, let's see how we can create a chat, like a chat bot using this API. Pip install OpenAI in your terminal and then click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Next, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the app.py file, from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, client equals OpenAI. Now, response equals client.responses.create. So that is the main function. We are setting the model name. Here, we are asking the question which we want to ask. Let's say, write a meal plan for a week and finally printing the response like this. That's it. So this is the only difference compared to chat completions. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And here is the output. Meal plan for a week, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and day six and day seven. That is really nice. So you can clearly add a user interface to this. If you are using Cursor or WinSurf, you can directly ask, convert this to a Gradio UI, minimal code change, and that will automatically create the user interface for you, as you can see here. And you can see the slight modification here. So we are putting that code inside this response function. Then for Gradio, GR.interface, and demo.launch. Input is a text box, output is a text box. So just few lines of code. So here is the whole code and I'm going to run this. pip install Gradio to install Gradio and Python app.py. Now we got the chatbot running in this URL, so opening it. And here's our chatbot. I can ask whatever question. Write a movie script about AI and clicking submit. And here is the movie script about AI. So as simple, with just few lines of code, you created a chatbot using response.create function. That's a newly introduced function. Next, we are going to look at the built-in tools. That is web search tool, file search, and computer use tool. Web search is very easy. Just add tools, then type web search preview. So what was a positive news story about present AI? And just this one line, it adds web search feature. Now I'm going to run this code, Python web.py. That's where I've stored my code. And here is the response. Seems like it didn't spell correctly as expected. Let me try my actual name. Tell me about Mervin Prison. Let's see if it's going to work. Yeah, it tells clearly about me and that I am interested in artificial intelligence. Develop Prison AI, a low code solution for building agents. Showing my YouTube channel, GitHub, and personal website. That is really nice. Next, the file search tool. So here, tools I'm adding. So instead of web search, this is file search. We need to provide the vector store ID, that is the vector database managed by OpenAI. So you need to upload a file and refer the vector database here. So let's do that. So go to platform.openai.com. There in storage, you can create a vector store, naming my vector store, Mervin Prison Vector Store, and clicking tick. So here I'm going to copy the ID. So this is important, and you can see the cost per day. So here I'm going to upload a file, add files, and then upload. Now it's indexing the file indexing is done and attach. This is a paper about graph rag. So that ID I'm pasting that here, that is the vector store ID. And now I'm going to ask, tell me about graph rag. And now I'm going to run this code. So this is just like a rag application, getting relevant information from your custom data. So you can upload as much data as you want or your own private data and it's going to perform rag search for you. So based on my question, what is rag? You can see query decomposition. This is agentic rag built in. So see, these are the queries, graph rag, what is graph rag, graph rag details, 
and graph rag summary that is agentic behavior so based on these keywords it's automatically searching all the files for now there's only one file and it retrieves those information and it's rewriting the information or composing the response based on the information retrieved from the PDF so here is the response and it explains about graph rag and it's from that paper so next computer use same as before client responses are create here the tools we are mentioning computer use preview that is the type we are providing the width the height environment that is browser and check the latest open AI news on bing.com truncation auto and then printing the final response that's it so this is the overall code to run computer use you can also include screenshot like this include a screenshot for initial state of the environment so here is the code for that but for now I'm going to keep it simple delete it and then I'm going to run it and here is the response so this is literally a tool call with ID action screenshot call ID status completed and type computer call so there are further steps involved so next step is to parse that data using the parse data we are going to use playwright to execute that function and it's going to execute that function then we are capturing a screenshot after execution so chat GPT understand your status after that you're going to repeat the step again and again until the whole process completes so this involves five different steps if you want me to take you through step by step on how to run all this code let me know in the comments below and I will cover that on how you can retrieve those values extract that execute the same function on your own computer own browser then returning the response to complete the final task next we are going to see about agents SDK so this is nothing but the swarm agents which was once popular and now they have made it production ready and considering it's from OpenAI and they have loads of funding behind them this could easily beat and I'm sure it'll beat Grafrag or any other agentic framework you can think of so how can we run this agent the code is simple from agents import agent and runner so agent name assistant instructions and the runner run sync create a meal plan for a week and then printing the result this is very similar to praise agents where you can see we are importing agent agent instructions and agent.start so it's mostly following the same format and I'm going to run this code this is agents SDK so pip install open AI agents in your terminal to install the agents SDK then Python agent.py that's where I've saved my code and here is a response meal plan for a week day one to seven everything was returned as I've shown before you can clearly easily create a user interface for this and I can even add more agent such as agent number two assistant two as a blog writer then I should be able to perform things accordingly if you want me to cover in depth do let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to show you a use case and the final thing is observability tool go to platform.openai.com there on the left hand side you can see traces so that you can see all the agentic traces so these are the agents which I've been running so if I see agent workflow I can see the most recent task create a meal plan for a week and you can see the clear response and you can clearly monitor response from various different agents and here is another example triage agent with God Rails responses handoff post sales post so you get the clarity on what each and every agent is doing behind the scenes and I'm really excited regarding these features we've got response API replacing completion API built-in tools such as web search file search and computer use agents SDK and observability do let me know in the comments below what you think about this and I can clearly see the agents SDK beating Lang graph and other agents framework considering you already like AI agents I also created another video in regards to swarm agents that explains clearly about this agents SDK and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there